I don't know how the Raiders fan. Actually, the Oakland Bay Area is my my hometown. I grew up there as a Raider fan way way back when. Uh, I, I'm not sure how they will react to the team moving out. We in Houston, they did not react well to us. They wanted you gone. They were they'd had it with us. The Raiders have had tremendous fans for a number of years and. And if they hang in there, and if they're going to let you play, and if they'll support you, and if they, then I, I would stay there rather than than make a move to a place to an intermediate area, if you will. The NFL is such a commodity; it is such a big deal uh, that it's it's hard if you have an NFL franchise in your city. It's hard to not support them. Now you're going to go through what we did, which was when we finally got here. Everybody else that was a pro football fan, of course, was a, a fan of another franchise. Right, right. And so right. we just would come to them and say, okay, when you're a Steeler fan, when, when we play the Steelers, go ahead and root for the Steelers. But the other 15, root for us. Whether they like it or not, a lot of those Raider fans, this, <laughs> I always laugh. I say, you know, those guys that put all those masks in the head. You would be shocked to know that. You know, half of those guys are doctors and lawyers. Half of lawyers. They've got a tremendous fan base, and I'm sure it, it'll be hard for those guys to all of a sudden turn off the Raiders. Nobody's ever, nobody for us, never had us in the context as that major league city, that sports town. And you think of Vegas sports betting, but not sports entertainment. And it, it changed people's perception of the city in a, in a good way, especially on the hockey side. I would assume you're in the same boat. A lot of naysayers. A lot of hockey in the South, no way. Hockey in Nashville, no way. Hockey in the desert. They don't know what hockey is. But our fans are passionate, and they're vocal, uh, they're fun-loving, and they've become pretty knowledgeable over the last three or four years. We absolutely saw the honeymoon. Right. It was great, it was fun. Then it got to where we were a little competitive. Then we slumped a little bit, and so it's 10 years ago, this past summer, where a, uh, our owner wanted to sell and was going to sell it to a Canadian. And that was kind of, for me the, and for the city, the turning point. Because all of a sudden we went, wait a minute, sales had dropped. dropped. And, you know, they weren't as competitive on the ice, and you have to put a product on the ice that says, we got a chance. But the city rallied around losing the team. Local corporate citizens got together and put an offer on the table to keep it here. If they're competitive, then it rallies the community. It's that intangible that we've seen it in both the Titans and, and the Preds. And especially, I'd say, in today's political environment, cities need that. You know, we need something to feel good about and bring everybody together.